Hey Fosto, welcome to Creative One Studio. Hey guys, welcome back. And if you're new here, thanks for thanks for stopping by. I hope that you uh, find some inspiration in my video today. January was nuts. <laughs> Prepping for market, but also I had, well, counting this Thursday will be 10 appointments in the last month. Uh, you know, just my annual things. And then uh, that was like five appointments. And then Athena had four appointments and I'm just like, running like a crazy fool went down to craft gallery to drop things off to be framed for market a couple weeks later went back down picked them up it's just it's been really really busy but good all good stuff good stuff to come i will be doing my new release video for my market my nashville market designs this week i should have it posted either late tuesday night or wednesday morning i don't know I'm going live in Patreon Tuesday night at 7 with them and just chatting about the new releases and showing them. So I don't want to post it until after that. But I think I might do it Tuesday night because I know, you know, some folks way out west will still be awake <laughs> in order to see it. So anyway, so look for that Tuesday night, Wednesday morning, whatever your time zone is. And the new release email that goes to all the shops so they can start taking pre-orders is going to go out tomorrow morning, Tuesday morning. So today is Monday, February 5th or 6th, February 5th, Monday. I just wanted to pop on here real quick and do a floss tube because I haven't done one. I think it's been a couple weeks at least and uh, it was really busy this weekend so I didn't have a chance to do one. I want to talk about uh, crazy any stitching so I designed something for their Christmas box in 2023 really cute Santa and she is selling it now so if you are interested in purchasing it get a hold of crazy Annie's I'm gonna have all her contact information in the description box below so here's the little guy Santa's stuffies so this is just a computer generated image I did start stitching him because I just can't get enough. I think he's super cute. I'm stitching mine on 36 count fox and rabbit baked clay. Look at his face. Oh, he's just adorable. And he's holding a little bear, a little piggy, a little sheep, a little mouse, and a little rabbit. And those are like stuffed animals that he's going to gift to some lucky little children. So here's my start. Again, this is on 36 count, and as you know, I usually stitch on, well, maybe you don't know. <laughs> like, you know what I stitch on, sorry. <laughs> this is 36 count, so he's uh, he's kind of a big boy. I don't have, like, all the information right here of, like, his stitch count and stuff. But anyway, you'll be able to find that on Crazy Annie's website. So, yeah, he's super cute. Um... Now, as far as when I'm going to release it to the public, uh, like I said, right now, you can only get it through Crazy Annie Stitching, and I'm thinking about adding him into my Hello Santa book, which will come out, I don't know. I don't know when it's gonna come out. At the latest, it will come out in the fall, but I was thinking about doing like a Christmas in July and doing the Santa book then. That's if I can get it done in time. So we shall see, but I'm, I'm, like I said, I'm really contemplating putting him in the book. I also wanted to just bring up in his image again, I'm going to insert a picture right here. This is an exclusive that I did for the craft gallery and it's the only way you can purchase it right now. And I will have their contact information in the drop down below in the description box below. 
I will have their phone number and their email address. So they, um, I believe they're still selling full kits of it. And also, you know, you can just get the pattern if that's what you want to. But there's a, a group of ladies stitching this and it's just so fun to, to watch their prog progress and see their excitement about it. In my Patreon group, I have been doing these little DIY craft projects with them. This is like a perk. It's for tier four. It's a perk that is not like listed in the perks. <laughs> like if you go to Patreon to check it out and it tells you all the things you get with your membership, this will not be listed because this is something that I came up with last fall and I just like making things and trying new things. And so it kind of um, inspires me to come up with new things to share with my True Blue Whimsies. The first one was we made uh, little buckets, these little buckets for Halloween out of those little cutie oranges. So I have a tutorial on that in Patreon. Then we made, out of paper clay, we made snowman head buckets. Those were super cute, but those are packed away because I hung them on my Christmas tree because I love them so much. But I can insert a picture here showing you what they look like. Then in February, no, in January, I did a tutorial on how to make these little heart and hands. This was the first one that I made. And this is kind of the old tradition where you weave the heart into the paper on the hand. These were really fun. So this one has a nice felt backing, but I didn't have any red felt at the time, so I just used black. So if you want to finish it off real nice, and then I put a little, a little hole, a little hole in the top, and then hung it with some floss. And then the second one I made was this one, and I just love this one. And I give instructions on you know how to make every part of it, where I purchased my supplies from, all the goods. I love the, the scrapbook paper that I used on this one with the butterfly and then the moon up there. And then the third one I made was this one. Again, using all scrapbook paper. Make today amazing. I love blue and brown and cream together. It's so pretty. So yeah, the reason I'm bringing that up is because these little DIY craft projects that I'm doing, I'm gonna add them to my Gather Dream Create shop where I teach you know, how to paint my angels. I have a punch needle tutorial over there. But I'm gonna add these little these little tutorials in there for very inexpensive, but um, you know, it's a lot of my time to make these <laughs> these things, to record them, to edit the video, to you know, it's it's it requires a lot of time. So I am going to, you know, charge for the tutorials if you're not in Patreon tier four. But um it's gonna be a nominal fee. And yeah, I just want to keep making stuff. <laughs> Friday, I had a stitching day with friends. It was so much fun. My friend Donna, she um, had a group of gals over to stitch and it was just absolutely a blast. Good food, good friends, good conversations, good stitching. It was, it was so fun. Well, Chantel did a little interview with me while I was there because she was there too obviously and uh i cannot wait to see this video because <laughs> i'm like you know sometimes because she didn't want to edit the video okay so we like started it three or maybe four times i don't know it was pretty funny then i kind of got giggly and then like sometimes you know when someone asks you a question in an interview like i get off on a tangent that sometimes I never even answer the person's question. And I got to thinking about it like the next day and I'm like, Cal, did I even answer all of Chantel's questions? <laughs> so I'm curious to see this, this uh, interview that we did to see if I actually answered the questions that she asked me. Um, also, yay, look at Barbara Johns. I love her bags. She was also there with us. 
it's so nice to have someone local. I mean, it's an hour drive, but what's an hour, right? When I take two and a half hours to bust down to Craft Gallery in Finley, Ohio to pick up some frame pieces, I mean, an hour to go stitching for the day is nothing. <laughs> what we what we won't do right for our stitching anyways look at this beautiful bag she had several of them and she let me have first pick of which one i wanted to buy look i just love this fabric so this is the hop hop hooray fabric line that you see a lot of bag makers making beautiful bags with look at the little charm zipper pull so cute it's an angel i love that all the bag makers kind of have their own you know uh what do you call it special touch that's not the word i'm looking for their um trademark i guess on what they do different with their bags look at that pretty fabric inside and that's not my fabric but boy does that match good and it's just really cute and then when i bought that bag from her i also bought the full kit that goes with it and i just look at the bunnies so fun so fun and um here's i'll have a link to her shop and everything too i know these bags are selling quick so um make sure you hop on that ah get it see what i did there <laughs> hop on it quick so they're not gone and look at this is not my fabric either but look how stinking cute that is carrots and bunnies then she gifted me this part which is just to die for so she took the salvage edge well, I guess you don't say salvage edge because that's like you're saying edge twice. She took the salvage and put it in a little stripe pattern for this little bag. Oh my gosh, is it not adorable? Oh, so much fun. And again, her sweet little angel charm. I just love it. I love this peach color zipper too. So yeah, you can see. I said this is so cool because then... You know, I told her when I'm old and senile, I can remember like when I did that line. It has the date, it has the copyright and the, the name of the line, Hop Hop Hooray. I just think it's super fun. So thank you, Barbara. It's super sweet. Oh, I didn't bring my gift down here. So we had a Christmas gift exchange. We were supposed to do this stitching day. I think it was actually before Christmas we were supposed to get together, or maybe it was like the weekend after Christmas. But anyway, um, something happened. We canceled, and the only date like we could get it together was February 2nd. So we were like, oh, we're still doing our Christmas exchange. And I got the cutest thing from Kathy. Oh, my gosh, it's really cute. It's an angel. Maybe I'll just insert a picture right here because it's really cute, and I really want to share it with you guys. All right, let's talk about whips. So I started two things since my last video, and those are the only two things I've been stitching on. So I started a mystery sale with tier four members of Patreon. So if you're not familiar, I have this is the mystery sale number three. We've done Strawberry Manor was our first mystery sale. The second one was which is being released at Nashville, is Simple Life. And then now we started Hometown. Here's my floss. I use floss away bags. I prefer the looks of the beautiful floss drops and people combing their floss. I love that. I like to see the colors and everything. It's way easier to see the colors than like this. But this for me is just, it's way more practical. And so this is how I do mine. Um, and then I have like this, this is my divider so that I know this is the lowest number. I have them in numerical order to the highest number. And that's like my divider. So that's how I roll with that. I'm stitching mine on 40 count box and rabbit. I think it's baked clay as well. Oh my Lanta, I don't even have it written down. If it's not baked clay, I'm going to put it up here for you guys. I don't think, I can't remember. God, that's terrible. So here is my start. I can show you, well, I don't know if I printed it off. Yes, I did. So here is what they get. So it's going to be a vertical design. It's all blurred out except the portion that we're stitching. 
So I have it all charted in DMC, but I did tell them that as I go along, I might change colors. I might add some fancy floss in there, some overdyes, just to add a little bit more interest. I like to chart everything with DMC for something like that because then, because there's a lot of colors in this. So it just makes it more affordable. It's still, I mean, look at Prayer Schooler, how amazing their things are. And theirs is all DMC. So you can do amazing designs with DMC. It's not a big deal. But I just like to throw in some fancy floss here and there. So another change that I did is I didn't think that 422 was showing up well enough. So I went around I'm outlining my house just so that it pops a little bit better. But it's going to say Willow Antiques in there. And um, yeah, the the pieces are like, what did I say? 50 by 63, the little sections. So they're very doable. The 15th of the month is when the new page will drop. And so what happens, so this is how it works. Page one, you have a month to stitch it. So I dropped it January 15th. February 15th, I will delete that page off Patreon and will add page two in. Page one will then be in the secret shop for purchase for like a couple bucks. You know, um, that the reason I'm doing that, it was actually suggested by a friend of mine that I do that so that somebody doesn't join the last month that we're doing this and get, gets the whole chart for free. Um, when there's been people that have been working along with me the whole time. So what will happen then, this is running for two years. It's going to go until the end of uh, 2025. So December 2025, it'll be done. I'll probably release it at market 2026. Is that right? Yeah, we're going to all 2024 and all 2025. Yeah. So yeah, that's kind of crazy. <laughs> it's crazy, but it makes it very doable. And I know people like to stitch on a lot of different things. So if I made this difficult for people and that just to try to keep up, that's all they could work on for a month. I don't think people would enjoy that. And I, I know I couldn't keep up if I had the parts any bigger than they are. So that's why this one is such a big project. Our other ones, oh, those might have been six months, I think they were. Strawberry sampler. No, strawberry what was that called? Strawberry Manor? I don't know. I think it was Strawberry Manor. And then uh, Simple Life, both of those were like six months. Those were much shorter. So this is kind of an anomaly. I don't plan on having two-year stitch-alongs <laughs> for my Patreon group. Thank you. I got overzealous and forgot to show you my second start, so I'm editing this into my video. But I really wanted to share this with you because I know it might not look like a lot, but I feel like I got a lot of stitching done on this. It's just there's a lot of filling on it. Um, I cannot wait to get this one done. Valentine Heart and Hand, this was Patreon January for Tier 4. And I love the heart and hand, obviously. It's my logo, too, for my business. But I just love the colors. And I'm stitching it on Weeks Dye Works Aztec Red 40 count. And I love it. So that's quite a bit. <laughs> okay. For the average person, that's probably not that much stitching. But for me, that's quite a bit of stitching that I got done on that. Um amongst all the other things I've been doing. So, yeah. Two of the fingers I have a good start on, and then that heart, I just couldn't wait to get to that heart. Now, this design, I thought, gosh, you could even just stitch that heart and make a little pillow out of it, you know, for your dough bowl or something, or an ornament, I don't know, super cute. So anyway, I just wanted to share my other start with you since I just, I wasn't gonna bother showing it since I forgot and then I'm like I did say I had two new starts so I figured I better add it in there or you guys will think she's losing it all right that oh finishing I've been a finishing fool because of my market releases I had Paula at the craft gallery frame four things for me three of them are new releases for Nashville one is like an Americana piece that's going to be released in May so I'm not showing that one, but uh, 
I so she th framed three things for me. I framed four things, I think, or I framed three things. I FFO'd, oh my Lanta. Oh, I don't even know the count. A lot. A lot. Painting Chantel's boards. I mean, like, it's been crazy the past couple weeks with finishing. So I don't have a lot to show of my own right now, but you will see all of that in my new re release video later this week. But I do have people that sent in their finishes of my design, so I want to share those with you now. First, we have Sheila Wilson. She stitched Egg Collector. She said, I got my framed egg collector finished back today and I'm extremely happy with the way it looks. I believe this is fiber on the whim, fiber on a whim, <laughs> cream and sugar that I sprayed with antiquing spray over and over and pretty hard. I doubt that I just put this out for spring. I think I will leave it out all the time. Happy Stitcher, Sheila. Thank you, Sheila, for sharing that with us. So cute. That is one of my favorites. Next we have Suzanne Turner. She stitched Joy. That was my Jingle Ball class project. And she's so smart. So for the Jingle Ball class project, they got the full alphabet so that they could do other words as well. They could do snow and make a snowman in the center or just do their initials. They could do their initial, like their first initial on one side of the pillow and their la last name, you know, initial on the back and make like a scissor fob, zipper pull, you know, type of thing out of it. But what she did is on the back of Joy, she put XXO for hugs and kisses for Valentine's Day. So that was very cool. So let me just read what she wrote. Hello, Teresa. I thought I would share what I did with your wonderful Joy design from the Jingle Ball, but with a dual use by adding a bit of love in it for Valentine's. Just a quick flip of sides within the same season and holidays. I so enjoy your designs. Feel free to share or not, lol. <laughs> With ongoing appreciation, Suzanne Turner. That's so sweet. Thank you very much, Su Suzanne. I love it. Next we have Lois Bozarth. She stitched, um, oh, it's a work of heart. What is the name of this one? Oh, my Lanta. I can't think of the name. I'll put it up on the screen if I can remember it. It'll come to me, I'm sure, when I'm done with this video. <laughs> Lois said, Hi, Teresa. My sister Penny recently finished your cross-stitch chart, a work of heart, for a memory of her husband who passed away in March 2022. She stitched the piece on 14 Count Ada in the color Enchanted by Mystic Fabrics. She used DMC threads, two threads over one. It was framed by Hobby Lobby. I think it turned out so beautiful. Thank you, Teresa, for creating such beautiful things. Lois Bozarth. Thank you so much, Lois, for sharing your sister's beautiful piece and what a, a, a nice tribute to her husband. All right, next we have Kimberly Marshall. She stitched this sweet little Halloween cat vintage looking Halloween cat that is from my Hello Halloween book. She said, good morning, Teresa. Just watch your new video. Love, love, love your new paintings. I wanted to share a finished piece with you. I gifted it to a good friend of mine. She is a big Halloween person. I used all the called for colors on 32 count mustard. I just love the way it turned out. Oh my gosh, isn't it fabulous? Oh my gosh, her finish is so cool. Thank you, Kimberly, for sharing that with us. Next we have Cheryl's, Cheryl's, I'm just going to say Cheryl. It says Cheryl Samples. Maybe that is her last name. I was thinking it said Sampler, so I'm like, that must be like her Instagram name or something. Okay, so Cheryl sent in her finished Santa's Delivery. How cute is that? So she said, I stitched Santa's Delivery on 16 count Misty Antique Blue Ada by Witchell using all the called for DMC except for three substitutions that showed up better on my fabric. I used DMC 115 in place of 3857, 3862 in place of 611, and B 5200 instead of 3866. I finished them in some of my mother's mason jars filled with silver bells, frosted greenery, and red berries, and I trimmed them with blue cording. The black perforated paper and Chantel's wood stands 
which are called for for the finishing project are beautiful, but I want I wanted a unique finish to display each Christmas that would remind me of my mother. Thank you for such a wonderful set of Santas to stitch. That's so sweet. Very festive. Thank you, Cheryl, for sharing that with us. Next, we have Doreen from Privies and Prims. She said, I finished this yesterday. I stitched it one over two on walnut stained Ossenberg. I purchased the frame at a thrift store for $4. Doreen, that is amazing that it fit that piece so well <laughs> for $4. Good for you, girl. I love it. I love that piece. Thanks for sharing it with us. Next, we have Nancy Hathaway. She said, I stitched this for my daughter and son-in-law for Christmas. I put a dedication on the back honoring all family members who fought to make our land great. World War II was honored as well as Vietnam. Every stitch I took, I thought about those family members. Thank you. Nancy Hathaway from Massachusetts. Oh my goodness, isn't that a beautiful gift? How nice. Thanks, Nancy, for sharing that with us. All right, last but not least, we have Raquel Borreo. I hope I'm not butchering your name too badly. She said, hi, Teresa. I hope your holiday season is going well. I wanted to share some ornaments that I recently finished and were... A week in the making. The unique shape was a bit challenging, but I'm really proud of how these turned out. This was sent to me Sunday, December 17th, so I think I was supposed to put it in my last floss tube and I forgot. She said, I stitched your Santa and reindeer ornaments twice. I always stitch, I always gift stitched ornaments to close family and friends for Christmas, but I also stitched some for myself at the same time. They were stitched on 36 count Zweigart base fabric color doesn't matter because they're full coverage with my own DMC color choices. The stitch piece is finished like a diamond shape and surrounded by snow pom-pom trim by Lady Dot Creates. Then I cut oblong mat boards for the backers and covered them in seasonal quilting fabric. I just love how they turned out and I'm sure the people they are being gifted to will enjoy them as well. Thank you for a lovely pattern. Many blessings to you and your family. Raquel. Thank you so much. These are adorable. Very, very cute. I give her a lot of credit for stitching those twice. <laughs> Thanks for sharing with us. All right, so that is all I have to share in this video other than a giveaway. So when I went to Craft Gallery to pick up the frames pieces, Carlton gifted this to me and I said, I don't use those. I had one last year. In my intention, I had good intentions. I bought fun stickers. I really wanted to do it. I don't have time. I didn't, I think I pulled it out maybe once and wrote a couple things in it and then never saw it again. I keep a planner with my to-do lists and everything and I have done that for 30 years of my business and that is ingrained in me and I can't stray from it. So I'm gonna start writing things down in that planner and then like at the end of the year, maybe write it all down and keep a folder. I, I got to make it so that I will actually do it. So anyways, um, he says, well, he still wanted me to take it. So I'm like, okay, I will take it and give it as a giveaway to one of my sweet viewers. So yeah, the 2024 book of days is up for grabs. And your question is this, well, it's not really a question. I just want you to shout out your favorite needle workshop. So the keyword will be shop so it can be an online store or your lns you know a brick and mortar so if you have a brick and mortar near you please um give them some love and share them in the comments and then you know if you want to say where you buy your things online that's awesome as well so yeah keyword is shop i'm gonna write that down so i don't forget that is it my friends i hope you had a good time with me today and uh, like i said in a couple days will be another video and then it will probably be a couple weeks before you hear from me my mom is coming to stay with me her birthday is thursday and then friday kevin it looks like kevin is going with jerry down to florida they sold their house down there and there's still some things in the house and you know jerry needs to do the transaction so they're going down there for the weekend to get that all settled and then my mom is coming to to stay with me while they're away so it's going to be interesting because i have a new puppy it's a little shih tzu and it's 
baby, baby, baby. It's a little tiny thing and it's wild. <laughs> it's wild. It has so much energy. So I'm going to have three dogs in the house. Yeah, it should be very entertaining and busy. So we shall see. <laughs> I'll let you know how it goes. Anyway, thanks for joining me today. Don't forget, create every day. Bye.